This is also a repeat question. In fact, this has been asked twice now that at what point will, uh, you know, if there is an injury, will it result in an ulnar nerve palsy? So what do you think should be the answer? Point D, proximal humerus. Remember, we will have axillary nerve running there. Axillary gets injured. A, near the spiral groove, usually it is the radial nerve. So, shaft of humerus is more commonly radial. Now, come to B and C. Which out of these is medial epicondyle? So, essentially, I think you know medial epicondyle is where ulnar nerve runs. So, which is medial epicondyle? So, now, one way to say that this is medial and this is lateral is medial epicondyle is more pointed. Second thing to say is, look here, you can see this pulley-like thing. What do we call pulley in English? Pulley is also English, but finer English is trochlea. Yeah, so this is trochlea, whereas this is capitulum. Capitulum, you know, articulates. Capitus means head. Capitulum articulate, articulates with the radial head, whereas trochlea articulates with the ulna. So that's how you know trochlea is medial, right? Apart from that, if you see this whole picture, you can also see that the head is going to face medially. But what if they just show me this? Can I still answer? Answer is yes. So you know that at point C is where the ulnar nerve gets injured. Fine. So this is about ulnar.